Heroes of the Air Force Reserve Command, Chief White and I want to have an honest conversation about resilience. We care what happens in the Air Force Reserve Command. I can tell you this too. If you look at our Chief of Staff of the Air Force, the Secretary of the Air Force, and the Chief Mass Sergeant of the Air Force, there's a lot of senior leadership that absolutely cares what happens with our airmen. And this tactical uh, pause that we're taking right now is proof of that. Your unit should be having a resilience events and a tactical pause. If it hasn't already happened, it's coming up soon. We should use this time for some authentic reflection and truth sharing. The Chief and I want to hear your story. We hope you'll share your truth to talk about the areas you struggle with, to share the resilience tactics that you use to overcome these struggles. My story is probably like a lot of you. I'm just a really average person. I know that's hard to believe when you sit up here at the top of the Air Force Reserve Command, but I'm just an average person that has been uh, blessed with a family that cares about them and uh, a team that supports me in everything uh, we do. There's a lot of things at the Air Force Reserve Command that cause stress in our daily lives. That's how we cope with that stress is important. I'm talking about health across the board. It's mental health, it's psychological health, it's spiritual health, it's physical health. It's all those things that we have to find balance with. When I struggle, Janice, my wife, and my kids, um, they'll help me. Uh, my kids help me because of their sense of humor. Because when they see this videotape, they're going to find out, and they're going to see it, and they're going to make fun of me for all the stupid things I say. But what's really important is there's a lot of love in those things. It's the same thing when I struggle at work. I get a lot of help from uh, my teammates here. Chief White is, is one of those pillars that helps me as well. And it's a fantastic way because I know I can't do it alone. It takes a team every day. And I try to uh, practice those resilience tactics I use in everything I do to make our, all of our airmen stronger. Man, sitting next to this guy here, I feel below average, but uh, I can tell you, similar to the boss, I too have struggled. Struggled with uh, trying to be a good wingman, trying to be a good father, uh, uh, a great husband, all those things, a great provider, all those things that you struggle with, I struggle with too. I think uh, what I found is uh, I can lean on my wingman, General Scobie, my family, my wife, Edith, my kids, my friends, just uh, like the boss said, being... Uh, physically fit, uh, emotionally strong, all those things to help me get through the struggles that I've dealt with throughout my career. Uh, the biggest thing here is that uh, the boss and I want you to know is that you have a phenomenal support team. The Air Force Reserve family is always there if you need a helping hand or just need someone to talk to. That's not just limited during UTA weekends. It's open any time that you feel that you're in distress. The boss and I will ensure that we have the resources, that we provide you with the resources that uh, for anyone that's in need. If you are leading one of our organizations, I urge you to know your airmen, know their struggles, know their families, and know their truth. Be authentic by sharing your truth, by sharing your story, how you overcome struggle in your life and your career. If you're going through tough times, seek help. We have amazing helping agencies in our organizations. Our chaplains are a great source, both of inspiration and of counseling if you need those. Our first sergeants, our commanders, these are all people that you can go to. Our superintendents, our chiefs, these are people that we've entrusted with the care of our airmen. You can go to them and talk to them and ask them for help when you struggle. Developing resilient airmen leaders is essential to the success of our Air Force Reserve mission. General Scobie and I look forward to hearing your stories in the weeks ahead as we begin our Air Force Reserve Share Your Truth campaign. And we need people like you in the Air Force Reserve in order to make it successful. And I don't care whether you're a civilian, whether you're a military member, whether you're a traditional reservist or an IMA, in status or out of status, you're always part of our family. And that's what matters. You are valued for what you bring. There are 74,000 of us. If I could do it with 73,999, I would. But I can't. Every one of you is valuable. You're valued for what you do, and we want to create an environment where you feel that value. Never forget, your Air Force Reserve family is always here for you.